Hi everyone, it's Neil and my beautiful wife Myrna at home and we're here to do another video for ECS Coffee. Today we're going to review the 4300 series from Philips. Which is exciting because the 4300 is not in stores yet. We got a sneak peek at these machines and got to play with them for the weekend. And uh, we're going to tell you what we think of them and go through some of the beverages. Stick around till the end and we'll tell you the one and only thing we did not like about this machine. About a year and a half ago, Philips launched the 2000 and 3000 series in their lineup. They now have, as of 2021, they'll have the 2000, the 3000, the 4000, and the 5000 series. Every machine has the same basic cabinet, it has the same dimensions, the same grinder, the same footprint, pretty much the same look and feel. There's different models in each lineup, and today we're going to show you the 4300 and the 4300 Latte Go. So both of these machines have front-loading water tanks that holds 1.8 liters of water. Um, it is plastic, however. This usually has an aqua, will come with an aqua clean filter, which filters um, up to 5,000 cups of coffee before you have to descale. The machine will tell you every time you have to change your filter, so you have to go through about eight filter changes, and then 5,000 cups of coffee, and then descaling. Excellent. So we have an aroma seal top uh, UV to protect the light on our grinder, and it holds. 250 grams of beans. That's right, and there's 12 adjustable grind settings in here. It's a ceramic grinder. And that means we can get up to 20,000 grinds without any issues. And it also has this nice bypass on the front as well, where you can put your own ground coffee in. Let's just say you wanted to have a decaf at night or a different coffee, although never, ever, ever put flavored coffee in these guys. And it's only one scoop, don't overfill. Correct. Uh, the brewer mechanism that should be cleaned once a week is located in the side. You'd simply take the front tank out, like so. And then in the side, you'll find your brewer mechanism that you should take out and clean about once a week. Give it a rinse out. I can't do that. <laughs> the drip tray in the front is pretty standard across all the models. You have a red pop-up um, at the front. It holds about 12, 12 pucks uh, on your spent grounds, which is great for the compost, great for the garden, particularly roses, uh, and also a pretty big drip tray um, to capture all of your liquids that don't end up in your cup. And the reason for that is every time you turn your machine on, it will do a rinse cycle at the beginning. That's the one thing I didn't realize about the super automatic machines, that they all rinse. They all do. And they make a lot of noise doing that. And then when they brew, they grind everything. And then they make a lot of noise doing that too. Yes, so. the, none of these machines are great if somebody is sleeping um, and you're trying to make coffee. And that is across, yeah, okay. that's across every super automatic espresso machine. Uh, if you're getting a machine where you're grinding anything or using any sort of froth, they are quite loud. So expect, uh, maybe you want to put it in the basement if someone's sleeping upstairs and uh, have your coffee in secret in the basement. So or make sure your spouse is awake before you or make her, her one or him one, <laughs> then they can't yell at you. Is that a hint? Maybe. <laughs> so let's go over the differences between these two models. Uh, if you uh, want to see all the beverages, you can always pop by our store. We can make these beverages for you when it opens after the lockdowns. But right now, basically the 4300 and the Latte Go, there's two main differences. I consider this the Myrna friendly one, and this one is a little more, so a little more hands on. The reason for that is basically the difference is the Panarello. Yes. So uh, the, this 4300 will say it has five drinks, and the Latte Go will say it has eight drinks. Now, the difference being is that the eight drinks on here really are because the milk is being done for you on the Latte Go. The Latte Go system has a, a neat little container you fill with milk, and there's some some markers there to help it. You just fill it up, you hook it on there very, very simply, and when you press your milk drink, it will do the milk for you. The Panarello One gives you a little more control, uh, meaning you have to use a traditional um, uh, milk pitcher in it and froth your own milk, which does enable you to get a little hotter milk if you want and control your own foam. This is for, for someone that wants to be a little bit more hands-on. The five drinks in the Panarello version will be espresso, coffee, Americano, cafe crema, ristretto. Hot water and steam are what will make up the rest of your drinks. The steam is obviously used to make cappuccino, latte, and other drinks like that. So you are getting actually the full gamut of drinks out of this. It's just that it's manual. But the more impressive one is the Latte Go. We're going to make a couple of drinks out of that. Right, Myrna? Yep. Okay. So the Latte Go actually is just this milk container that comes right off. It's a two-part system that is easily washed in the sink for like 15 seconds, or it can even go in your uh, dishwasher. has no tubes, no wires, so none of that cleaning, annoying mess. It does kind of sit a little funny 
on here when you first put it on. It feels a little flimsy, yeah. but is it? It's not actually. No, we've been selling these for about a year and a half on the 3200 series and uh, not had any issues with them at all. So when I first got them, I thought so, but not really at all. Eight. This machine makes eight drinks. It has uh, espresso, coffee, americano, cappuccino, latte macchiato, and cafe alley on the first uh, screen. If you press the more drinks menu, it has two more coffee-based drinks, and then milk froth, and then hot water. Both these machines have two user profiles. This one has a guest profile. The user profiles are so you can customize your own drinks under a blue or green color profile. And then when you have guests come over, they can make their own drinks without messing up with yours. Okay. In the settings menu, you have access to your water hardness, which is usually the first time you set it up, standby time, your display brightness, your language, sound feedback, temperature, although I don't know why you wouldn't want anything but high, product counter, support, and factory settings, and measuring unit for which is milliliters or ounces. So let's make some drinks. Let's make some drinks. Let's make some drinks. We're gonna make two drinks out of this machine to That's show you uh, an espresso as well as a cappuccino. One of the neat things about these machines is that if you choose to make a second, so you press the double button, you want two, it'll actually grind twice. So therefore you're not just getting uh, more water through the same amount of coffee, which some machines do. This one will actually brew twice because you do get that option. Down, so you actually get the, the, the yeah, full cake, the full want. cake. So uh, if I was to go in here and press, for example, espresso and do two, it would brew twice. So it's kind of a neat feature. Um, the 5400, which we'll review separately, um, has another neat feature and you can kind of watch that Lots video. Features, watch that video by clicking here, if we time that right. Uh, and you can also watch some of the videos on the Philips series, but the 5400 has a couple of neat little features. It's one, one level up from this uh, that we actually kind of like to. And we'll make all the drinks that that machine makes. Yes, if you want to see every drink that this one makes, plus the 5400, watch that video and you'll see every drink because we're going to make every single one of them. Okay, so let's get on to making a espresso. So we're going to make an espresso on the blue profile, which will then save it. Get our espresso, press espresso. We already have our beans to the strongest. So we move the arrow over. We want 1.4 ounces of liquid. That can go up to three ounces, but we like a nice short espresso, so 1.4. And if you want to do two, you see we have plus one. We could actually do two shots, which will make it run twice. Let's get our espresso done and it will be saved. And we press go. Now let's make a cappuccino. Our second drink we're going to make with the 4300 Latte Go will be the cappuccino. Again, I'm going to use the blue profile. Simply press the cappuccino button. We have our bean. We don't have all the strength up, but we can go up or down. We're going to move over to the 2.7 ounces. So let's make that a very strong espresso shot into our cappuccino. And our milk, we're going to go to 7.1 ounces because I want a nice large cup. We press start and off we go. There you go, we have a nice strong cappuccino. So Neil, what did you think about these machines? Uh, since I've been selling the 22 and 3200, I think this is a great addition to the lineup. I think the price point is great, I think the quality is great, and the beverage selection really covers mostly what anybody's gonna need. It's pretty uh, easy entry level, would you call this an entry level machine? I would call it entry to mid mid-level yeah. price points on these. Um, really, for someone that likes to press a button like we do, yeah. <laughs> it really works out well. It's pretty easy to use, and the latte go is so easy that you can make all the milk-based drinks without having to worry about foam and wand and Yeah, it's easy to clean. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like. Super easy clean, no tubes, no wires, but the one thing we didn't like... One thing. Is Simple. the water tank. The water tank. It's a small thing, but why don't we tell them why? So the water tank is plastic, as most water tanks are for these machines, but we just thought this was a little bit flimsy, kind of. Yeah, I feel like they should have done a better job on it. 
honestly. For the quality build on the rest of the machine, I mean, it just seems a little bit kind of flimsy. And that is the only thing we didn't like yeah, about this that's machine. That's really it. Yeah, other than that, uh, solid machine, uh, solid price point, uh, nice drinks. Um, overall, I would say it's a buy. And if you're interested in looking at any of these, you can always come down to our stores and or check us out online and our YouTube channel. We'd appreciate it if you give us a like and a subscribe. And if you want to learn more about the entire lineup, you can probably see the videos at the end of this that will take you to the other series. Until next time, see you guys. Thanks again. Take care.